slide around a little more. But I did want to come back to Horizon 3 and check this car out. That's a really long e-brake grab. But we got it. Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she born in love The way you twerk it shot What's up everybody Welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit Here back on Forza Horizon 3 In the Quartz Regali Not really sure why Forza decided to bring this into the game Other than some other cars Like you know Chasers and such But we're here today Gonna rip this thing around We're gonna see if we can't get this thing to drift It's a big girl so it comes stock with like 430 some horsepower, I believe, all-wheel drive. Let's double check that. 433, all-wheel drive, weighing 5,600 pounds. It's a big girl. But can we get it to drift? That is what we are here to do to see if we can make this Quartz Regali drift after we rip it around here stock for a second. I mean, it sounds pretty good. I wonder if we can actually even, like, real drive swap this. Ooh, this backfired. You break? Ooh, yep. Like I said, it is all-wheel drive right now, but... It slides a little. It slides a little with the e-brake. It's a big <laughs> girl. Ooh. Okay, all right. So we're going to hop into the other show and see what we can do to this thing i don't know it's pretty big it weighs a lot i don't even know if we can actually get this thing to drift we may have to get a lot of power out of this thing quartz of golly it's free to pick up if you haven't picked yours up yet what can we do oh we can't even convert it oh this is gonna suck so i guess we're gonna be real drive bias can we do that can we at least do a diff Definitely going to keep it on stock tires. I do like those wheels, though. So we can't even make it rear-wheel drive, but we could probably make it rear-wheel bias. So we're just going to, I guess, throw as much power as we can in this thing. Brakes, fully upgrade this thing. Rally suspension, and we're going to dump this thing to the ground, of course. Not a fan of the wheels. Big roll cage. Drift taxi. So, let's see what type of power we can get into this thing. I mean, it looks like it's going to make plenty of power, but I mean, we're definitely going to need that power since it still weighs 4,000 pounds. Jeez, oh man. This thing is huge. Alright, so power wise. 800 horse. Yup. We're just going to throw this thing all the way up there. Max it out. And then we'll drop down if we have to. I'm thinking we need to change those ugly wheels. And not a fan. Let's see what other... Ooh. Those aren't too bad. We need something very flashy. Oh. You know what? We're going to go with the twists. Alright. Final... Deal on this 877 horsepower, 4,100 pounds, $58,000. I'll buy that while I have a sip of my Yingling here. <sighs> All right. Now let's see what we can do tuning wise on this thing. Like I said, we're going to have to bury this thing. Throw some camber at it. Some camber. There we go. Baseline tune. And roll bars. Soften them up a little bit more. And we're going to drop this thing as far as we can. Wow. I feel like this thing's going to do stupid low. Frame dragging. We're going to have to mess with the differential here because we're probably going we to. We're going to have to throw this 100% to the rear. And lock the rear. And take it completely off the front. All right. It didn't go as low as I thought it was going to go. 
And it's raining, of course. Oh my gosh. Horsepower. Essentially rear wheel drive. Oh my god. This thing is a big, big girl. Ooh. I mean, it kind of slides though. It definitely, you can feel the difference. The difference of like rear wheel drive converted or straight rear wheel drive. So what better best place to test this out than other than going into a wall? Then at the parking lot simulator, of course. Head over to there. Ooh, this thing is such a big car. Tap. That was more than just a tap. All right. Ports Regalti. Yep. Here we go. So, can you drift it? I mean, you can. Jeez. This thing is massive. There's like no room in this parking lot for this, but it like, I mean, it slides. I mean, hands down, Ooh. you can make it drift. Is it the best drift car? No. Is it, is it pretty fun? Uh, yeah, it's definitely different, definitely fun. Excuse me, sir, I'd like to pick you up for your ride to the show. And by the way, we're gonna be going sideways. So definitely, uh, definitely a different feel. Ooh. You can definitely feel the difference, like I said, of it being all rear wheel bias and not all rear wheel drive because you do still have the zero steer feel. Don't go off. Ooh. This thing is crazy though. Like I said, I wish Forza would have brought us other cars like, you know, Chasers or stuff like that instead of this thing, but, you know, it's free. We'll mess with it. Definitely gonna, you know, throw it around and just tap. We're good. This thing is huge. I mean, it'll definitely drift. So let's, uh, Let's throw it up to uh, double hairpins here. See if we can't really get it to uh, see what it can really do in a, you know, point scoring environment. I mean, it looks aggressive. It looks mean, not gonna lie. It does look pretty cool, but. Oof. All right, let's go. Enter in nice and. There's a car there. Oh, sh in the dirt, still getting points though. Oh my god, are you serious? Not getting all the points in the world, but looking good doing it. In this big boat. I mean, respectable 69k. Trees. That's why you should never text and drive. Never look at your phone and drive, kids. That's 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 what happens. You hit trees. We're gonna rip the thing uphill one more time. Ooh, there we go. We're in the fourth. Put it out there. Clutch kick it back. Around the car. I mean. It slides. <laughs> Can you drift? 
the quartz. You can. Oh, in the trees. So we're going to head up to hillside and see what we can do on hillside. Maybe hit one or two more drift zones here. But overall, can it drift? Yes, it can drift. So I am a little bit sad. I was supposed to be getting a package today that I did not get. I was sad. But it will be here tomorrow. So super excited about that. I said super excited to bring that to you guys here when that package gets here. So look forward to the channel here in the next day or so for that. Gonna throw this in. Oh my. Clutch kick. Oh. It's like zero steer drifting. And that's how you can tell the difference between rear wheel drive and all the drive converted. So we're going to rip this uphill. I am actually having a little bit of fun with this right now. It's very luxurious. Alright, here we go. Save it. We're not gonna save that. Um. Just. I mean. I, uh, it is what it is. You, you. You gotta give it something. I mean. Not every day you would see this big behemoth of a car sliding sideways around here at all. I'm going to rip this through. See how fast we can go. If I can go into the right gear. Oh boy. A little 360. Oh! Didn't, not as clean as I liked. But it's okay. It is fun though to drift for sure. If you want to try and drift it, do the exact style, same tune I did. Tuning settings and all, it's actually a lot of fun. It's a bit of a different ooh, feel of drifting because, like I said, there is pretty much a zero steer sometimes. Because it does still have some front wheel pull on the car. In between? Oh, I didn't think we were gonna make that. Because this thing is a big girl. No, we're not going to go that way. Ugh, I don't even know where I'm going. I feel like I could hit up a street section with this and have a lot of fun. Ooh, I think this is the most power we can get out of it, though. So it's not the fastest thing by any means. Oh, it's definitely getting squirrely, though. Excuse me. Ooh. Oh, it just wants to go though. Oh, you knew you weren't gonna win BMW against this big thing. All right, so we're gonna throw it in here, slide around a little more. But I did want to come back to Horizon 3 and check this car out. That's a really long e-brake grab, but we got it. Because, you know, I wanted to see what we could do to this car. Pretty sad that we couldn't make it real drive. <laughs> so we did the next best thing we could. And make it real bias. And, I mean, it does slide. Hands down, it slides. It's a lot of fun. Excuse me, Minnie. I scared the crap out of that mini there. Actually, never really drifted this section that much. That's a fun little section. Take it back in. I'm gonna probably rip this around one more time here. 
to end this episode off. Like I said, guys, I got something special coming to the channel here soon, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. If you guys want to see more Forza Horizon 3, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. I've been on Forza 6 a lot recently, so I am enjoying the Forza 6 content. So if you guys want to see Forza 6 as well, comment that down below. Gonna be wanting getting open lobbies here soon, getting drifting, some tandems with some guys and such, either on Forza 6 or Horizon 3, maybe a Seto. I've been wanting to get back into a Seto. I was gonna today, but unfortunately for some reason all the servers are down. That's a really fast entry. So there was no online servers in a Seto. Ooh, we're gonna tap him. Just tap. So I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Forza Horizon 3. Like I said, don't forget, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I'm off-road in this car and all over the place. So until next time, guys, I'm going to do this one last corner here. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. Tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city